Hello, we are going to improve our spine range of motion and flexibility with this class. And at the end of the class, we're going to reward ourselves with my favorite back hair relaxation. What you need for this class and for the relaxation is three or two cushions or pillow. Now, let's grab those items and when you're ready, come and join me back on the mat. All right, we're going to start the class seated positioned, cross-legged. All right, let's take an in-breath. Exhale, I'd like you to just roll the spine down so you knot the head down and start articulating the spine down one for the breath at a time and just keep the arms trailing the floor. In-breath. Exhale, we lift the spine back to a tall seated position. Two more times. Exhale, we roll down, nodding the head down, articulating the spine, taking the spine to flexion towards the floor, just gliding and sliding the arms on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, we roll it back to sitting position. One more time. Exhale, we roll down. In breath. Exhale, we roll up. And lift. Now change your legs. Position. Take your arms out to the side. Let's go to the side as we inhale. Exhale, side stretch over. Inhale, lift. Come back to the other side, in breath. Exhale, side stretch over and lift. Return one more time, side bend and stretch. We lift, come back. The last one, side bend and stretch. We lift, come back. Now we're going to go into side bend again. Here we're going to bring a body forward and rotate over to the other side and come back and side bend and we're going to go forward over to the other side and come up side bend and roll forward half circle over to this other side and come back and again side bend and half circle forward and come back and let that go well done let's face the front of our mat have your feet hip width distance apart your angle of the knee can be a little larger have your hands underneath your thigh lifting the spine perching on your pelvis on your sitting bone now as you breathe out we're going to draw the abdominal in, take our spine into flexion, into C-curve. Lifting as we inhale, pull our armpit back and bring our upper back into high release, which is an extension. And flat back, round back. And flat back, high release, extend. Two more. Exhale, round back, extend, upper back, and one more, round back, and extend the spine, high release, and come back. And go to round back again, and then roll the spine back, straightening the arms, all the way down to the floor and just walk your feet closer to your bottom. Arms down by the side, release the head down. I'm just gonna transfer myself down on the mat. We're going to move on to our pelvic curve here. So we have our feet in hip width distance apart, open chest, long arms. Take an in breath. Exhale, drawing the abdominal muscle in to imprint the lower spine, press the feet, lift the pelvis up to that bridging position, neck is reaching long away from the shoulder, we exhale, we roll it down and come back 
to starting position and again we exhale we roll back up again all the way up to your bridging position inhale exhale and take it down two more times here breathe out let the spine move in articulation as you take it up and down as you go down feel every single vertebrae pressing down to the floor before you release that pelvis back to your starting neutral position. One more time. Exhale, peeling off the floor. Arms are reaching to your feet. Chest is nice and opened in breath. Exhale, we roll down and release. Take one leg up to tabletop, knee over the hips. Pull the belly in, second leg up to the tabletop. Draw the legs together, open your arms to the T position, pressing the back of your arms down, moving to our spine to a supine. Let's go to the right side as we inhale, rotate from the waist. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate from the waist. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, center and to the left keeping the opposite shoulder down exhale one more side to inhale exhale last one to the left exhale and return the leg down one foot down second leg down half the half the feet hip width distance apart interlace the hands behind your head Elbows off, ready for a chest lift. We breathe out. We draw the abdominal wall in. We lift the chest. Inhale, arms to your thigh and lift the chest a little higher, perhaps. Exhale, arms back and down. And lift. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, arms back. Return. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, arms back and return. One last one. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And return. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, lift up. And let's hold that. Stretch your arms forward. Palms together. Hands together. Let's add some rotation here. We breathe that to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. We twist, center to the right. Inhale, center to the right. Can we to the left? Sorry, can we lift the chest higher and center to the right? Lift up higher. Inhale, center to the left. Lift up higher and center. One more each side to the right. Center, last one left and center. Hands behind your head and come on down well done guys now bring your legs together and stretch your legs away still keeping the knees slightly bent have your feet slightly dorsiflex or in dorsiflex dig your heels down take your arms overhead we're going to move on to our modified roll up here now as we inhale we lift the head and the chest look forward grab the back of your thigh if you need to and exhale pull the belly in if you don't need to you can just keep the arms by the side take your body to flexion here we in breath exhale we take the sacrum back we use the abdominal muscle to imprint the sacrum the pelvis the lower spine and then take your body down so you can do it in two version here we inhale you lift the head and the chest up. You can either grab the back of your thigh to give you a little help, or you can just keep the arms by the side and use the abdominal muscle to lift yourself to the flexion, to a round back seeker position. And exhale, we roll back, imprint the pelvis, lower spine, and then return the rest of the body down one more time. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, take it up into the c curve and now here lift the spine upright half your feet wider than the pelvis you may straighten the legs 
but I like you to have a nice long flat back. If this position is challenging, you can either have the knee slightly bent and have your back upright, or you can also sit on one of the pillows or the cushion. All right, now I'm gonna have my legs straight here. Take an in breath, I'd like you to dorsiflex your feet. Exhales for the spine stretch. We articulate the spine down, bringing the body forward, in breath. Exhale, we roll back to your starting position, in breath. Exhale, we articulate down and forward, in breath. Exhale, we roll back up and tall. One more time. Exhale, we roll down and forward. And then exhale, we take the spine back up. Take your arms long by the side of your ears. Hold that straight. Now, I'd like you to pull the arms back for five and four. Maintain a nice long elongated spine. And two more. And last one. Arms up to the side and together. Pull the legs in. Bring the feet together. Let's go to our rolling like a ball. Now, grab the shin bone just above the ankle. Point your feet round the spine. I'd like you to balance on your tailbone. Take your feet off the floor. Lock the legs in. Use your arm muscle to keep the legs in and maintain the shape. Now I want you to roll back to the shoulder and then come back and balance. So keeping the shape of the body and the legs as you roll back. Inhale, exhale, balance. Inhale, exhale, balance. Two more. Try not to fling your legs away. Last one. Balance. And let that go. All right, turn your body towards me. Knees together. Interlace your hands behind the head. All right, let's go to your chest opener. We inhale as we rotate the spine. Look behind you. Exhale, come back. And again, two more. Inhale, rotate the spine. Look behind you. Exhale, come back. One more. Rotate. Exhale, come back. Release, come up. Take the bottom arm, reach up and side stretch over. And release. Swing your leg over to the other side. And let's do the other one. Interlace the hands. And here we go. Inhale, look behind you. Exhale. And two more. Exhale. The last one here. Exhale. Well done. Okay. Now coming onto our front, please. I like you to stack your palm one on top of the other. Have the elbows wide, legs long behind you, and lower your head down, just hovering over your hands. Legs are long behind you. They are together or just slightly apart. Pull up the abdominal muscle, energy out through the legs to your, to your toes. Draw the shoulder blades down, press the arms gently, and lift the upper back up into extension. In. Come back down. Again, inhale, glide the shoulder blades. Use your back muscle to lift your spine into extension. And come on down. Again, two more, inhale, we'll lift. I'd like you to feel that shoulder blades is gliding down to your lower spine and your abdominal muscle is supporting your lower spine and your neck is long and your gaze is down to the floor slightly further away in front of you and come on down last one please in breath reach up exhale and release hands to the side of your shoulder palms down elbows down and then push the flow away pull the belly in 
bring your pelvis down to your heels for your rest position and unroll the spine up. Now, let's grab the cushion. You may use two or three depending on your height and depending on the flexibility of your spine. I have three here. I like it high because I can really open my chest. You're welcome to just do a trial and error. Maybe you only need two. Okay, now have the pillow or the cushion behind you. Have your legs in a diamond or butterfly position. All right, I'd like you to just press the cushion down for a second. And then I'd like you to bring that cushion really, really close to your back. Now, slowly bring your body over the cushion or the pillows and take your arms with you. If you find that the cushions are too high or too strenuous for your back, I'd like you to take one cushion down and reduce it to two. If you feel like you need a second, a, a, the last one, a fourth one, please go ahead and adjust it. Once in this position, all you need to do, close your eyes and breathe. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale in through the mouth. As you breathe, allow your body, allow your spine to just melt away into the cushion. Thinking about that lateral breathing around the rib cage. And in breath. And exhale. Let's do two more breaths. One more. Now you're all more than welcome to stay in this relaxation position for a lot longer. Just keep breathing in and breathing out through the nose and through the mouth. I'm going to roll to my side and to come off to the from this position. Roll to the side and then just slowly bring your body up if you are coming off from the position as well. All right, friends, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.